All right, guys, today we're going to shoot and review this LCP Max here with this upgraded spring and rod by Galloway Precision Ruger LCP Max. If I didn't already say that, this is a stainless guide rod and it's a, a heavier 13 pound spring instead of the 9 or 11 pound spring that these come with. I can't keep them straight. I think some of the original LCPs came with 9. The max might be 11. It might still be 9. I'm not sure. But this is slightly heavier at 13 pounds. So this should still work with standard pressure rounds, which we're going to test out here today. Um, but it'll help you out a lot with those hotter like defense loads, okay? This should help mitigate and reduce some of that recoil, but also it should help the gun uh, feed a little better with these lower powered rounds and just in general as well. I'll get my 16 inch steel gong set up out there if I can. The dirt's pretty dry now, figure it out. And then we'll get this target set up here too. Just kind of do some back and forth like two round burst shots uh, with the factory spring with standard pressure and with plus P here. I only have just a few of these, but we'll try them out. I'm trying to basically just see if I feel reduced recoil with that heavier spring uh, installed there. Not supposed to run plus P in the LCPs, any of them. Um, so keep that in mind. you would probably be okay if you only run just a few here and there like I do. Um, but I just want you guys to know that you're not supposed to run plus P in these. Um, but I'm curious to see if that helps reduce the recoil. I use this a lot for gel tests on the channel. And occasionally I test uh, plus P 380 ammunition. So it would be nice to have this heavier spring in here. That way my slide's not slamming back so hard with these hotter loads. Uh, but anyways, we'll get set up out there. I'll run standard pressure. Uh, with the factory spring then I'll switch over and then we'll go back to the factory spring on this plus P couple of those and then put the spring back in 13 pound there and the stainless guide rod from Galloway and see how she feels with that in there with the plus P All right, here we go with the standard pressure uh, Freedom munitions if this thing would ever focus These are 100 grain flat nose Factory recoil spring as you can see there I got the stainless guide rod and their spring still in the bag so standard pressure, uh, factory rod and spring. All right, I'll try that again, and I just remembered that that thing shoots low for me, so I'll just keep aiming center mass on the paper target there, so all the shots are gonna go a little low. And I'll just aim higher on that gong over there. But let's try another 10, still factory everything. <laughs> hey, that's some kind of fun. I'm gonna do that again before we switch over. Just wanna point out too, I'm using the factory provided flush fit 10 round mag so I'm not I'm only getting two fingers on it you can with the 12 rounder you can get all your fingers on and it's a lot easier to control so we're using that flush fit that doesn't give you very good control all right I'll get fresh paper up I'm out of paint and we'll get this rod and spring switched over and try the standard pressure with that. All right, I got theirs installed. It may be a little hard to tell in the light, but that is their stainless rod. There's the factory rod and their spring. Now this is the outer spring. There's actually two springs. If you look close enough, there's a little one that runs inside of this larger one. So the only thing you swap over is this larger spring, and that gives you a 13-pound uh, overall weight. So let me throw the slide back on here. And, we'll... and I will try it with the Galloway stainless rod and 13-pound setup. Which, by the way, for those who would ask, um, it does create a little more resistance to rack your slide. It is a little heavier being 13 pounds, but that's part of the reason in the beginning I said I don't really know if it's 9 or 11 because it's... It's just a very small difference. That's why I almost feel like it's an 11 pound spring, but I could be wrong. It might be nine. I've been told it's a nine pound spring, so maybe it is uh, from the factory. But whether it's nine or 11 or, or whatever it is in there, um, switching to that 13 pound, it's a little stiffer, but it's it's a very small difference. Like 
I honestly don't even notice it if I just run the gun like normal, but if I try to notice it and pull it back slowly, then I notice maybe a maximum of a 20% difference. But all right, here we go. Let's try it with that Lake Line 13 pound spring and stainless rod now. Standard pressure. Got hot brass down the back of my shirt. Uh, anyways, it it kind of felt about the same, but I noticed that the nose is much more stable, and I wasn't having to like regrip on the pistol like I was with the factory spring. So I still feel that jolt from that 380 cartridge in this super small, super lightweight plastic little micro 380. It's that's still there, but it was much more controllable. The nose wasn't wobbling around on me as much. And like I said, I was able to keep a, a grip on it better, so it shot basically much flatter and I would say more accurately as well, and it looks like that on the target. Uh, but let's keep going until I finish out this box here. All right, so unfortunately, we're down to our last 10 because I did three mags through the uh, with the factory spring and rod. I was having too much fun. So, But here we got another mag here. Let's try it again with the uh, Galloway. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah, that's definitely much better. I was able to run faster and more accurately while going faster. I can't believe how much of a difference that makes. That's amazing. I'm not talking this thing up either. I wasn't expecting much, honestly, but there is a clear difference. You can see it on the target there. And Like I said, I was surprised I was not only able to shoot more accurately, but faster as well. That that sucker's staying in there. I didn't really like this thing that much. It's hard to shoot, especially rapid fire. And uh, I know a lot of people have that complaint as well, but that rod and spring, man, that makes a huge difference. So as you see there, well, we're out now, but that was all the standard pressure. So going heavier spring, and this is, I mean, a lot of people talk trash about this ammo being garbage, and it... It ran them all 100% flawless with the factory spring and with the 13 pound spring and, and rod there from Galloway. No issues whatsoever. So as you can see, even going to heavier spring weight, you can still run the standard pressure stuff. No problem. And uh, it greatly reduces recoil for you. It's making me a lot more accurate and faster. So let me switch back to the factory spring, run this buffalo bore plus P through it. This is just as about, if not the most powerful 380 ammunition you can get. 288 foot-pounds of energy. I've not really seen any rated any higher than that. Let me get these pulled out real quick. Okay, that's what those look like. 90 grain, jacketed hollow point. But I mean, they got a lot of powder in them and a lot of recoil. So I want to save a few of these. So I don't know, I'll shoot three, maybe four with each spring. I'm not going to try to like rapid pace it, anything like that. I'm just going to hold on target and shoot i'm just trying to basically see the reduction in recoil with those um, with their 13 pound spring and stainless rod compared to the factory setup so let me get the factory stuff switched back in take a few shots i'll put their stuff back in take a few more and then we'll wrap up here all right i got the factory rod and spring back in it and here we are with those if this would focus still not focusing buffalo bore jacketed hollow points here so uh, I'm just going to go down there on the paper target. Since she's shooting low, I'm just going to aim at that top red dot with, uh, I got three rounds in it here, and then we'll switch over to the to the Galloway rod and 13-pound spring and do the same thing. Again, just basically, I'm trying to see for myself what the reduction in recoil is. All right, that wasn't too bad, but it was slipping out of my hand each time I had to keep adjusting my grip. So let me get the rod and spring, switch back over to the Galloway, the 13 pound. And I'll try that again, see what the reduction in recoil is. All right.
right. Yeah, definitely an improvement. I did adjust my grip after the first shot. Uh, my hands are getting sweaty out here. It's like, I don't know, it's in the 80 and we got full sun if you couldn't tell. So my hands are a little slippery. But it was easier to hold on to with that spring. And once again, I found myself just running faster uh, because the sights, they come back on target so much quicker with that spring and rod in there that I'm ready to pull the trigger again uh, quicker than I am with the factory rod and spring. So I'll say it was like a slight reduction in recoil, but what I'm mostly noticing is just how flat it keeps the gun. It doesn't like come up and then wiggle as much after the shot. It's more like quick and like, I don't know, it just it comes back on target better. It stays on target instead of wobbling around and it comes down quicker. So. so yeah, I don't know what else to say, guys. I am a believer now. This is the first time I've ever upgraded rod and spring and any gun that I have. And I'm just blown away the difference. Like I said, I wasn't really expecting much. I figured it'd be a very subtle difference, but it's actually quite noticeable. Uh, lets me run faster, comes back on target faster, reduces recoil a little bit. Reduces recoil a little bit and it helps me keep a better grip on it. And uh, I even seem to shoot more accurately with it too as well. Certainly no worse. Um, certainly more accurately when going fast. So slow pace targets, it might not affect the accuracy. It really shouldn't because that's all about uh, trigger break. But you know when you're trying to go from multiple target or rapid fire, um, that lighter recoil and more flat recoil impulse and less wiggling and whatnot, it helps you get back on target faster, which is going to increase your accuracy if you're doing anything other than slow trigger pull one shots. So yeah, definitely recommended if you have a uh, LCP or LCP Max. The spring and rod is definitely worth the 30 some bucks. Um, so I highly recommend it. That will definitely be staying in this gun from now on. Will definitely be staying in my gun from now on. I don't ever want to go back to the factory rod and spring. And uh, yeah, I'm going to have to get a few more of these for my other guns. And that said, I did post a community post. They sent me some other stuff from my Max 9. Uh, not only the rod and spring, but... Uh, trigger as well and uh, some nice grip panels give you a better grip on that thing so i'll have that coming up soon too if you guys want to get yourself any of the products you see me using the videos still targets target stand paper targets rifle shooting bag there earmuffs i wear safety glasses and more links in the description for all of that if you want to see some 380 gel tests i've been doing a bunch of those check out the 380 gel test playlist on the channel i got 9 millimeter 40 and 45 too even rimfire but thanks for watching guys, go check out Galloway Precision, and I hope to see you on the next one.